Hello, Kea. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. So, Kea, I I attended uh, your uh, public reading. Uh, well, I think it was like a week ago or something like this. We had a lot of people. Yeah, on the 1st of March and the 5th of March. And 1st of March, yeah, like 10 days ago. And, uh, you know, you invited a lot of people and you did an amazing job reading your book. And uh, before we start, how old are you? I'm 12. That You're 12. And where, and where are you from? Uh, Bombay, Mumbai, Maharashtra. M Mumbai, Maharashtra. And th the name of your book is Dancing on My Wheels. Yeah. Uh, wh wh why did you come up with this name? It is actually related to one of the events I had done for school. And I had participated in a school sports drill. So I could, uh, it was like somewhere close to this. It was a suggestion by my mom. Then I improved it and it was uh, really um, suiting the event that I have written in the book. Mm -hmm. And and uh, was this a dance? Like you actually danced, danced yeah. on wheels? Yeah. And how was it, the actual dance? It was really nice. Don't yeah. Forget. Well, I know I know that there is a video of the of the dance that uh, that you're dancing among uh, with all the other kids. And uh, is this the first time you're writing a book? Yes, the first time. And and how was it to write a book? How was how was the experience? It was uh, I could say an interesting experience because uh, the book is actually based on. Uh, it's like based on the real life and it has fiction. So like coming up with things to like add to the book, that was a really interesting part. And mm -hmm. the platform itself is really good, like the illustrations. Yeah. G give me give me examples to things that are real in the book and things that are fictional in the book. Uh, so uh, there was like when I was born that the part, the first part of the book is real, and then uh, the fourth chapter that is fictional. Mm -hmm. And uh, but can you tell me what is it, what is it about? Like what's happening in the fictional part and what's happening in the real part? So in the real life part, it's about um, a school event that I had in two thousand nineteen. And the fictional part, it's about how, so the, uh, the main character is Rose, which is me in the year. So mm -hmm. it, like the fourth chapter is about when she grows up, how she changes her society. Mm -hmm. How do you want to change society when you grow up? Uh, maybe make uh, the world a better place for people who are disabled to live in, like f to make it easier for them to travel from one place to another. Um, w when you talk about disability, like for you, the, the biggest issue is moving from one place to, to another. That's, uh, yeah? Yes. Um, and uh, and how do you deal with this? Like, I know mom is helping you a lot, of course, but, but beyond that. Uh, I could say that in places there are ramps so i move around in a wheelchair so in places there are ramps but the places where there are no ramps i need help from my mom so that is one part that gets difficult for in moving around mm -hmm. uh, you you know that in in many countries there is uh, or cities there is a law that uh, somebody cannot open a business or a building yeah, unless they they have uh, access to that. Maybe it's something that you can try to do in India. Yeah, I think that's a nice idea. I think that's a that's a good way. So so um, in in the book you go. By the way, do you have the book with you? Uh yeah. Can you show me? Wow, dancing on my wheels. And can we t tell you a little bit about the experience? How was it to get the book for the first time? I know you wrote it and... It was a very exciting experience. 
something that is in my own name something i wrote yeah. which is in my own name and okay. uh being able to read a physical copy of it like receiving it which seems like a gift but a gift to myself hmm. how many books did you sold because i sold it quite a lot when i was on the on the call it was it's now 341 how many 341 you sold 341 copies of your book yes wow wow you're 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 not only an offer you you're actually making a lot of money <laughs> actually it was all the help from my mom she helped me people like she helped uh, like get the copies sold your mom is a very special woman i can tell you that uh she loves you with all all her heart and it's remarkable uh uh to talk to her and and to see uh, you know i always say that the child need only one big fan and you have one big fan but you have many fans but one very big fan which is uh, which yes definitely she 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 should get a, a big medal and a big kiss from you i'm sure you gave it to many so you sold 341 copies how did you sell so many copies because it's not a lot of time it's only a few weeks well i had published my book on january 31st and uh -huh. before my book reading i think i had about uh, 180 copies sold and then after the book reading a lot of people came ahead and they wanted to buy the book you are an incredible uh, girl do you plan to write uh, more books in the future yes it's a very mm. interesting experience tell me more about it what's interesting in writing a book it's like you can uh you can you're thinking you can extend it and you don't have to stop thinking in writing like you can go to such an extent where uh you have i don't know the word but you can write a lot like whatever you have in your mind you can keep building on it so that's an like interesting thing so when you started to write the book did you know uh, everything in advance or did you keep writing as you uh, saw the new pages uh so after i came to the third chapter that's when i had to like uh think more because uh till chapter number three everything that happened in my life i tried to show it but then after chapter number three I had to like think and make it more fictional because I mm. didn't, like, I'm, I'm already a child. So in the story, it's like Rose becomes an adult and then she uh, like speaks with authorities, uh, persuades them. So that part was where I had to start thinking. Kaya, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a digital artist. A digital artist wow a any specific field or everything uh i think i would uh, go more towards books and be like the author and an illustrator okay can i invite you to to do like a digital art project for Bree books maybe to help us illustrate one one of our themes uh, yeah, I think that would be nice. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll definitely coordinate it. I'm, I'm very curious uh, what, what will come up. If you had a superpower, what superpower would you want, you want to have? Uh, I have never thought of that. Well, I would love to have not a superpower in like fiction, but have the power to help disabled people like like help uh, their lives become easier like in all sorts of ways well you know i i think that writing a book about the experience uh and selling so many copies and i know you're going to sell many more uh, after that as well is a really good way to convey a message uh to the world 
I, I'm so proud of you uh, uh, for for achieving what you achieved. It's it's really remarkable. Um, so with so many books sold, I'm sure I'm gonna, also going to see you uh, when we have our final event uh, in uh, in Delhi in a couple of weeks. Uh, I hope you can make it because uh, that that will you? Yeah, that will be amazing. I think I'll be able to try because. I'll also be having my exams going on, in my final mm. exams. That that will be that will be wonderful, and I'm I'm as I told you in your uh, reading, I'm so grateful uh, to your words. Uh, I, I'm honored uh, that uh, you know, we we get to talk together for the second time now, <laughs> and uh, and I have to tell you when uh, when I decided to start rebooks. My biggest dream uh, was that a child like you uh, will write about her personal issues, personal challenges, like being, you know, in a wheelchair, uh, personal dreams, and uh, and make it all a reality. And uh, and I can only say thank you again and again and again. And I can't wait uh, to to meet you in person. Yeah, I can't wait too. <laughs> Billy Books yeah. is actually a nice platform. Like, uh, it was really easy for me to write the book, and mm -hmm. with the I could like the words were fitting with the illustrations also. Like, I could find the illustrations for the certain topic on the certain page. I, I I'm very happy, but you know, with all the respect to Billy Books, it's your it's your work, it's your dream, it's your words. We are just a tool that allow you to uh, to share it easily with the world and with many people, with 341 people that already read your book. And, uh, and I hope it will be in every library. And I know we will also take your book to, uh, to some of the book festivals around the world. Uh, so this is just the beginning, uh, dear Kea. Uh, and I can't wait to read your next books. I'm sure they will also be amazing. Yes, I will surely write more books. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you so much for making the time, uh, and uh, I'll see you very soon. Okay, thank you.